Yeah, we've got a couple rookies in this heat. Obviously, Ryan Sheckler and Ashad Ware, Tom Asta as well. Oh, I actually mentioned P-Rock because he snuck out there for a little practice. He's actually not in this all good. You know, these, snake. these plan B kids, they stick together. Here comes Shaq. So critical. I mean, one of the things about taking that backside tail side on the inside is you got to take it kind of to the end because now your feet might get caught in that planter, so he really has to have his trick side if you're taking the inside right. Yeah. A great underlying story last year beyond Nigel and Sean Malto was the marked improvement of Ryan Shepard in the street. Here comes a shot. Oh. I'm actually surprised. I was expecting a shot to go flawless through this section. During practice, Ashad had probably as many bails as he did unbelievable moves, but that just shows you what he has in his arsenal. He's a skate rocker. I mean, I think being in the later heats going into this big section could play a factor in the bails because you really need to warm up. And the longer you sit off your board, the less warm you are. Like Costa starting with that nollie back today. That's going to turn into a nollie back side heel flip, but he needs to wake up those legs. There's strategy there. There's thought behind it. Eric Costin. Costin's a guy who uh, I don't think anyone will question his talent. He's got to get one of these. Injuries. Arena for the first time, he can't help but be a little starry out. Yeah, he started out swinging with a switch heel flip, so he's going for it. He's definitely not pulling punch. Oh. <laughs> on the outside, looking in right now. Yeah, that three flip over rotated on him a little bit. David Gonzalez, his first attempt. He was looking good in practice today, though, David. Just so much power. Comes Ryan. Shackler. Yeah. Was that back side tail? Did he touch? I mean, barely. He kept his speed. I think that's really what's important. It'll be scored well. 5 5-8. Up to fifth place. You know Ryan's going to bring it. He just goes all out. He's only got one speed. Come to Shackler. Speed. Yeah. very much in the skateboard game that said he would not be shocked at all if Ashad Ware wins a street league event his rookie season. That's how good he is. Oh yeah, I believe it. He can't Ooh. Oh, it away. Surprise, Maxim usually has a really controlled switch field that one got away from him. thing about Eric Costin. The most respected man in the Let's be honest here. True that. Does not matter where he scores. Sometimes that first landing is just like so shocking because you gotta get used to the impact. I mean, these guys didn't even ollie it. Just went right for a switch heel, right to a switch frontside heel. And now at least he knows how much impact he's dealing with. <laughs> 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 He's on fire, he's been doing a lot of skateboarding in shows. I'm actually surprised he's bailing as much as he is. Interesting, Ryan lets that one slip. You know, he must have his back a little bit right before the qualifier started today during practice. Well, he's filming a part for Plan B as well, so these guys, there's no off-season, man. They're just always going for it. And the streets usually aren't this smooth. So, I mean, bales here are a lot more pleasant than they are in the streets, so if the guys get in there a little roughed up, there's a reason for it. Sounds like that young rookie quarterback is going to get it. He's got to face the defenses for the first time, but once he gets his bearings, he walks out. He threw down that kickflip backside lip slide, and right there he went for kickflip backside Smith. Definitely an upgrade. 
Castle's board almost came back under him, but he's trying to kick it away. That could have got under him. Currently in 10th place, that's where we'll stay. It's Tom Aston, 18th. He's a 1 8 or better to jump up into that semi group. Eric, Eric makes that switch heel kick, it's going to make a difference for sure. Tom Aston is just so stylish. But it remains to be seen what he does in the game. Foot. See that first one on the landing was a little bit of a surprise. He knew what he was working with this time, just stuffed it. And sometimes that's all it takes. Getting in that comfort zone, landing a big trick in the big section. You've never done it before in your career. You could get on a roll here. I mean, a lot of skating, what it takes is crossing that line. And you try that first one for a stick it. And all of a sudden, you the stuff. And you get excited. You know what you're working with. You know, it's no longer a question. That's where, that's where the magic happens afterwards. True that. We're finishing up halfway through here. Attempt three for David Gonzalez. At the headband though, too. He's a hippie. Oh, so smooth. He'll take that. He'll take that. The Colombian kid. David should be a finals guy. He's got that type of talent. He's sitting in eighth right now. He's not too far away. Sitting in fifth. Ryan Sheckler. He knew he had that. So solid. That's a really scary trick in that environment right there. You could argue that no one wants to win one more than Ryan Sheckler. Maybe he and Chris Cole, but Ryan wants to win one so bad. And the only person I'd add to that is Paul Rodriguez. Come on, score, here we go, shot. We'll stay there. Eric Costin, who needs a uh, five and a half or better to jump up to that finals group. I mean, these guys are going for the best trick they can possibly make, but they still have to stack up a couple makes to choose from. There we go. Voila. Ice skates out of there out of Daniel Gesmer. Biggest showman in the sport. Boston is really feeling himself. This <laughs> right kind of easy. I'll tell you what, Tom Asta up next. It's unbelievable, Felix, that today is a qualifier. That kick from the front board would be such a gnarly spot in the street. Over that patch with that high drop, and he's just in there doing it, man. The kid's in here for a reason. PA Freshman kid. squad. PA kid. He jumps into that final group. I mean, he skates with Chris Cole all the time, so you know they definitely get gnarly. Part of Team Zero. Mark Appleyard. Trying to get in the semis. He wanted that one. It's just the toughest thing on qualifying day. It's tough enough to go against seven other dudes in the final, but when you're going up against 23 other guys looking for blood, you have to bring your A game. So many factors. Speaking of there we go. I like how David's landing so soft and kind of cruising out of that. Yep. He, he makes like street skating look like he's bull riding. It's crazy. And just, it's another case of being able to take chances in this new format, particularly the big section. Throwing away two tricks is a game changer for so many of these guys. Well, Rob created the street league to bring the best to skateboarding in one arena, and he's, he's making sure the format applies to that. He wants to really see the best these guys can put out. Here's Ryan Shackler going for a temp five. Oh, man. That box off enormous. Yeah. Over the planter, over the rail. Takes me back to 2011, Felix. Like nothing. Ryan Sheckler throws down a 7 1. He's in fifth place. But here's a guy, a shot where needs at least a 5 7. 
to jump into the finals group. Currently in eighth place, the rookie. This has got to be new for a shot. I mean, he was winning everything prior to Street League. His eyes are open here. I mean, it's just a, a different format. He's going he's gonna to figure this out. Front 270 on the lip side right there. He's got the attack shot. I think it's just a classic case of understanding the course, learning the format, and figuring out the best strategy for him. And honestly, don't count him out. He's got another try at that. He's got all day tomorrow if he doesn't make the final. And he's used to working for him. The kid skates all day long. He really does it. Eric Costa currently in night. Oh. Going back to it. Needed an 8-6 to get into that final group. He'll stay in ninth. Here comes Tommy Asta, the kid. Oh, one kid back nose blunt. He had a couple nice attempts there before that one. He'll stay in six, but guess what? He's in the finals group right now. Yeah. I know there's a couple more heats to go, but that's awfully impressive for the kid. Yep. He's got a shot, and he's got David Gonzalez swinging for him. Definitely some makes here. They want to make a difference. Mark Appiard not making there. He needed a three and a half to jump into the semi. And he got a whole box of donuts. <laughs> he's trying to play it safe there. Oh. That frontside nose band is usually real easy for him, but he got so far in front of it, it was almost like a hang 10 frontside nose band. How often do you look down at your board sometimes like a tennis player on his racket game? Why don't you do what I want you to do? Sheckler's final attempt. Sheckler's going into tomorrow, feeling real good right now. He's getting a couple little kinks out of his game. He's making stuff, so he's looking good. He's moving forward. He's doing it, though. Ryan's a finals guy, no doubt about it. He has been since he started in Street League. And you're right. It doesn't matter where Ryan qualifies as long as he's there, and you know he's going to be there. One of the struggles about qualifications is a lot of guys don't want to win qualifying because then you got to win twice to win the event. So if these guys are coming in second and third, they're feeling good, you know, the juices are flowing, they're looking for that win when it counts. That's scary. And you also think you can skirt in there without throwing out your entire bag of tricks. Doing just enough to qualify. Here's Eric Costin on the outside looking in to get to that finals group. Oh. It's so sad to see him go and leave his feet. Look at him, he's having a, having a conversation with his board right there. So he'll stay in ninth overall. Tom Asta, sixth place. Needs an 8 8 to jump off the spot. Oh! You know what? He'll take it, Felix. His first go at a big section in Street League. I think he'll take the outcome thus far. I mean, most politely stated, he's going to sit on the sideline right now and go bail, 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 bail. And hopefully he can just stay in the finals. That's got to be the toughest thing, right? I mean, these guys are all boys. There's such camaraderie here. But at the same time, you know what you got to do. Sometimes you got to root against your boy. When you're sitting in sixth place, you definitely don't want anyone to make anything better than what you did. You want to just not have to skate again. To keep your legs fresh for the finals. Can't let a buddy get in the way of the big check.
via yourself using the low feet. So let's take a look at the big section thus far. Heat two, Ryan Sheckler in control. First place, followed by the rookie, Tom Asta. David Gonzalez behind them. Ashad Ware, Eric Costin, and then Mark Papelbon.